What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best traits in the game. Now, traits in Atelier Riser have had a serious overhaul when compared to previous games. For example, there's no um, like combining traits or anything like that anymore. You see, all traits now can't be gotten on their own. The only difference is they have levels. So for example, like this Destructive Plus, it effect increases with max trait level, max level 30 plus. And you can level traits up by combining two of these. So for example, if I add a level 15 Destructive Plus and a level 10 Destructive Plus, combine them together would give me a level 25. Now, while you can get almost all these traits normally just playing through the game, some of them can be very, very difficult to get. For example, Destructive Plus Plus. For this, I've only gotten this two ways out of like literally everything I've done on the entire game. There are a few others like this as well. So if you are struggling to get the last few traits you need, or you just want to get the Gather Rate 100% field traits, then look no further than these two methods. Okay, now for the first one, I'm going to do the one that I least recommend, uh, but it is the easiest way to get the highest end traits as well. <clears throat> so, first of all, you are going to need either the Mirage Loop or the Loop Compass. The reason for that is they both increase the traits that you get. So, for example, for the Mirage Loop, you can have a trait up, which massively improves the trait level of gathered items. Special materials, which massively improve traits for gathered items. Now, this one is basically a case of... This is what decides whether you get a destructive, destructive plus, or destructive plus plus. And then trait level up is solely for the level. So for example, level 1, level 10, level 20, and so on and so forth. Meta materials is just for extra quality on the gathered items. Now, if you were to do the loop compass, which is the next stage up where it combines the mirage loop with the compass, then you get better materials, which is quality. You get rare materials, which improves traits and trait level for the gathered items. I'm not sure why they called it rare materials when it only works for traits. Um, and then, last but not least, you have eye for materials, which sees what's available to gather. So I do recommend going for the loop compass, but it doesn't matter if you don't have it, you can just use the Mirage loop. Quality doesn't matter, just make sure you have all the effects maxed out. So build the item and then rebuild it if you need to. Okay, so for the first stage, we are going to be going in to a travel bottle. Now, this travel bottle is level 98, so you do need all five bottles for this. You get these first four bottles of just going through the story normally. Uh, and this fifth bottle, the travel bottle underworld, you get for doing a optional boss straight after the uh, main story ends. All you have to do to find this boss is have a cutscene in the atelier with Empel, and then go to Lion We Kill. There will be a great spirit monster in the very centre of the area. Defeat that and you'll be rewarded with this bottle. Anyway, we're going to be going to this Dunkle Help bottle. Now, if you want this bottle yourself, the password is WN7. T. That's Whiskey November 7 Tango. Okay, so we're just going to go in here. Well, I've got to restore it first. Now, the reason we're going in here is a few reasons. One, it has Dunkle Halt, which is an elixir, so you can transfer those properties to a Philosopher's Stone very, very easily, which pretty much makes combining and spreading traits very, very easy, so that's why we're doing that. But other than that, it is a level 98 ball, which further improves the trait quality of items. So, we're just going to go in and then we'll just gather a couple of spots so I can show you guys sort of what level the quality is and what sort of traits we're going to get. Okay, so there's the first one, and as you can see, we've already got some Dunkle Halts. So, we got Divine Petal, Banish All Speed, and Life Force. Divine Petal is the Dunkle Halt's unique trait. Life Force is the highest, tier uh, the highest tier HP ability. Banish All Speed is the highest tier uh, speed debuff. So, let's move on. We have Healing Plus, Few Bonus Plus. Okay, not too important. We have Critical Plus Plus, not too bad. Uh, Spirit Slayer, God Throw. Uh, Spirit Slayer is terrible. God Throw is, extends the wait time by 30% when using items, but it does increase the power by 30%, so a pretty good trait there. And extremely devastating along with stats power. So stats power is greatly increases all stats. It's not as good as a fully leveled stats charge, however. 
uh, and extremely devastating, increases item effects by 30%. So, pretty good trait straight off the bat, and as you can see, the quality is not too shabby either. Now, onto the Jade Water. So, straight off the bat, we've got Area Bonus Plus Plus and Few Bonus Plus Plus. These are level 20 and level 11. Now, if you're making a bomb for... Um, well, if you're making any bomb, basically, you would use both of these traits. So, for example, Area Bonus Plus Plus, you would use for a AoE bomb that's used to take out groups of enemies. And if you were making a boss killer, you would use few bonus plus plus. So straight off the bat, we've got two of the three required traits for our bombs. And then we got few bonus plus plus again. And as you can see, the quality is once again not too shabby. So let's go ahead and gather one more just so we can uh, compare and hopefully get some even better traits that I can show you guys. Okay. So let's take a look at these. So we have best quality, beastly power, and critical finish. All final tier traits they are. Uh, power throw, healing plus, HP charge plus plus, few bonus. Uh, extremely devastating in stats power, banish all protection, extremely devastating, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, pretty good traits, pretty good traits, and the quality is really, really high as well. Now, the good thing about getting traits on Dunkelhelt, as I said, it's an elixir, a medicinal, a poison, and a mystery, which means we can use Dunkelhelt to spread traits to a Philosopher's Stone, and then we can just keep looping it back into itself to level the traits up and eventually spread the traits very, very easily to pretty much any item we want. That's why Dunkelhelt are one of the best methods for farming traits. However, I don't recommend this method of farming traits. The method that I actually recommend is gardening back at the hideout. Now, I've already planted some seeds in the garden. However, I'm just going to rest a few days just so that the uh, seeds actually spread. So that I can go ahead and garden them and show you what sort of materials we're going to be getting from them. And what quality and traits we're going to be getting from them as well. Because this is above and beyond the best method for getting both materials and and traits. The reason for that, you're about to see once you take a look at the guard, uh, once you take a look at the quality in that. Now I have planted one of every seed here, that's the plant seed, the stone seed, the fire seed, the water seed, and last but not least, the mystic seed. Okay, so let's take a look at these items, shall we? So I'm just going to go straight back to where we first started. Okay, here's the first one. So we've got a Lucky Clover. Traits, critical, boot, uh, critical plus plus level 21 with quality 787. And of course we have good elements. Arby Hiver, again, good traits, nearly maximum quality. Nameless Grass, good traits, nearly max quality. I mean, just look at this, guys. Like, look at the quality and these levels of traits. And of course they do have near enough maxed out elements as well. And this right here is exactly why I suggest using the gardening method. Because this gives you materials with effects. And the effects are elemental value plus one, synth quantity plus one, and effect spread plus one. This is the only way you can get effects on materials. The only way. And of course you can also get Dunkelhalt this method uh, this way as well. And of course, just going through them, I mean, just look at the quality, look at the level of traits. It is insane. These are, like, above and beyond the best way. I mean, look at that straight there. Palmer Charcoal with effect value, synth quantity, effect spread. It's got 7 fire, 7 earth. Decent quality, but not the best. But again, you know, I mean, straight off the bat, it's a really good item there for getting through fuel type items. And then, as we go through, obviously, we're still getting really good traits as well. You know, I mean, the quality is really, really high. I mean, Black Puny Ball, nearly max quality, four element value for every element. When you get a Puny Ball drop from a monster, normally the element value is one. Two if you're lucky. This one, we have four. And of course, look at those level of traits. Level 21, level 23, level 20. Granted, we would never use any of those traits, but still... And of course, we have the Gold Puny Ball, Miria Fish, Eva Aqua. Again, really, really good. I mean, Speed Charge plus plus level 21. You would use Speed Charge on a uh, accessory. And of course, it's a mystery, so you can spread it into a Philosopher's Stone. It's got really good quality as well. And then, you know what I mean? Just look at these materials, guys. Really, really high quality. This is how you basically go about creating maximum level uh, gear. So if I just show off my gear really quick. So, I mean, as you can see, quality 999. 
this is how you go about creating this level of quality on gear and items. I mean, in fact, let me show my items off as well. Once it loads. Okay. So, I mean, straight off the bat, as you can see, quality maxed out. I've got all the effects unlocked, all my traits, you know. It's like, that is how you get the best items, guys. This is above and beyond the best method. As soon as you can start gardening, start doing it. Now, the best way of getting the seeds is simple. When you're first synthesizing the seed, focus solely on the quality. You see, the level of quality that the materials you get is based on the quality of the seed. So you definitely want a maxed out quality seed. Once you've got the quality done, then simply rebuild the item to get the effects. The effects are high growth, which means it grows quicker. Uh, gather quantity up, which means you get more uh, materials when you harvest the plants. Trait level up, so the uh, levels of the traits are actually higher. And last but not least, gather rare uh, quality up. So this is basically rare items are more frequent. So you can actually gather uh, uh, cores, for example, which are normally unique drops to the uh, Great Spirit elemental bosses, which are post-game bosses. However, you can actually get them from the Mystic Seed. So, again, these are definitely what you want to get. As soon as you create a perfect seed, then just duplicate it. Using these seeds, you can get quite literally almost every material in the game. There are only a few you can't get, such as Dragon Eye and Fairy Segment and things like that. Basically, mini boss mob drops that you can't get from the seeds. And just to show that you can actually get the cores... Here's some cores I got. Okay, no, those are the ones I actually got from uh, doing the videos for the optional bosses. So let's just uh, let's just do effect search, and then I can filter it out straight away. Uh, let's see, where are they? Where are they? <laughs> it's not cold pain. That's uh, elements. Come on, let's get rid of all these ads. And that's all ingots. It's probably going to be near the bottom. I mean, we've got to go through the accessories first, though. And still on the accessories. Come on. Come on. Okay, now that's still accessories. I think we're on what? Yeah, we're on weapons now. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. <coughs> okay, now we're on actual item uses. Hmm, that's odd. Why is it only showing the weapons there and not the actual item traits? Okay, we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way and just uh, go through normally, I guess. Right, if I search by quality, and then we can just go from the uh, top down. Because I know I've got a few high-quality ones that I've used. Okay, so we need a core, 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 core. I know I have some somewhere. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, where you at, cause Where you at? You know, it might be easy if I actually just go into the atelier and go to a synthesis place. Well, go to a synthesis, but here we go, cause. Okay, so these are the main boss cores. Okay, I guess I've actually used my high level cores. Huh. Okay, live and learn, live and learn. But yeah, you can get all of these cores from the Mystic Seeds as well. Obviously, their quality will be a lot higher, and you can also get them with effects like uh, Effect Spread and Synth Quantity as well. So you don't actually have to keep farming the optional bosses for these. You can just uh, garden them. Which, yeah, guys, that is why I'm going to end this video. That is how you get the highest end traits in Atelier Riser. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified about all my future content. As always, though, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.